Hi, this is Alicia Perrot, a.k.a. Sydney Drew, SPD Pink, and you're watching Heirloom. A little while ago, I made a video talking about the possibility of Power Rangers leaving New Zealand, that it's all being kind of done. It has been confirmed that they are leaving. The production has stopped um, over 20 years. It's kind of weird. I kind of think it's a lot less, but for 20 years of Power Rangers not being filmed, in New Zealand anymore is kind of crazy to me. It kind of is. Now, I know what's gonna happen. I made this joke on Twitter where it's like, well, Hasbro hasn't officially come out and said anything. Hasbro has not said a single word. They've not posted it on their Twitter. They've not posted it on the official Power Rangers website. They've not done anything. It is fake news. They are not leaving until someone comes out, until the head of Hasbro makes a statement. We do not believe it. There's, that, there's gonna be a thing. It's one of the things that really annoys me because, you know, major big news outlets. I mean, New Zealand actually reported it on their news. So you kind of think that they would have heard something, they would have done something. But I know what some people are like, but we're gonna look at all everything. We're gonna possibly check out the video. We're gonna kind of react to it. And we're also gonna go over the information that is being presented. So let's begin. Here is the news article that has dropped. It says, international hit series Power Rangers is leaving New Zealand after being produced on our shores for more than 20 years. The news has shocked members of the film industry who've called it a huge loss for cast and crew who have, put, who have been part of the show. The production company Hasbro confirmed, so Hasbro have confirmed, this is not fake news, this is nothing. They have confirmed to the One News in a statement, but didn't say why it was discounting film uh, filming here. Now, it's gonna be money. It, it's gonna be money, and maybe it could be the fact that maybe they've gotten bored of filming it over there, which is a huge mistake, because you have like actors over there in New Zealand, like, will jump into this. We've had, uh, stars that have started their acting roles from being on Power Rangers, but I generally think it's that they want to make uh, they want to save as much money. Maybe it costs too much, and they want to move over to Canada. Canada, to me, would be the biggest place there because a lot of TV shows are there. And considering how you have, like, say, some of the Marvel shows in the past, it makes more sense because maybe they have everything there, like, say. Like stunt people, what all they can do, whatever they want to do, it makes things a lot easier for them to kind of run this over in Vancouver. That, that would be the, the biggest thing. I would absolutely love it if they use some of the locations of The Flash. I think that would be absolutely fine. But my kind of main thing would be, hey, Canada is probably a lot cheaper. They offer a lot more, so therefore it's all filmed there. And again, with Jonathan Entwistle as well as thing is it Kelly they have ties with like Marvel and stuff where they could easily film there and it's probably m more cost effective for them that's probably what I would say and that's how I'm going to kind of think of it so if it is shot in Canada absolutely amazing now I will say this because I have seen people talk about that even if this was shot in America if this was shot in England etc etc if you went to kind of go and be like I want to be on Power Rangers I'm going to be in it you would have to go through a process. You just can't turn up one day on set and be like, hey guys, I have no acting experience. I'm just a huge fan. I want to be in here. Maybe they'd cast you as an extra, but you wouldn't be able to be a, a, an actor not unless you went through the right places. So I think that even if you just turned up randomly, they would have you on the sideline saying, hey, you know, cool, say hello to the guests. Maybe they may give you an extra's role where you're just literally sat at a coffee shop or something and that's about it. It would be kind of cool to be in that, but effectively, I think that you'd have to go through an agency and stuff like that. But I know people have been talking about it, so I kind of really wanted to kind of bring it up because I know what people are like. It's one of those things. Now, a spokesperson will literally speak for Hasbro, and I know a lot of people are like, but it hasn't come from Hasbro's mouth, therefore it's not true, and I will, I will not admit it, and I will not believe it. But when you hear this sort of phrase, we are committed to keeping Power Rangers fresh by reimagining the brand and how we would bring our entertainment content uh, to life for our consumers, a spokesperson said. Now, this to me shows that they want to try something a bit different. And I feel that even if you're in New Zealand, you're still having the same areas. You're still looking at the same things, which would be really, really different. Like you have the same areas and it gets boring after a while. Like, yeah, I, I imagine how amazing it is. But when you look at, say, all the stuff over the past 20 years until maybe until Beast Morphers, 
you kind of get the same thing. It's the same area. It's the same fighting. It's the same buildings. It's the same town that they go to. And you're very kind of limited. Vancouver, you're probably limited as well. But if you're shooting it over there for, let's say, like a couple of years, it's fresh. It's new. It's like, oh, my God, this is a new, new set. And it kind of brings a lot more life. It does suck that they're taking all this away from New Zealand because they're probably paying New Zealand a shit ton of money. But right now, I feel that, yeah, the, the brand is in this kind of slump and having a new place may kind of fix it. I mean, look at Cosmic Fury. Simon Bennett came out and said, we're not going to be shooting in the same locations, which means they're probably shooting in loads of different areas right now which aren't going to be here is the city. Maybe they go back there once or twice because of Buzz Blast or what, whatnot, or maybe they go completely to different areas. But it's it's fresh when you kind of think about it. It's not just the same thing over and over and over again. Sally Martin, who was in Ninja Storm, said, I was the only female in my series and one of two Kiwis. I'd worked for a few years within the industry, but nothing could uh, prepare me for the kind of schedule and style of shooting. We know what Power Rangers is like. You know, it's literally up at four in the morning, do everything. You're multiple shooting, so it's not the same thing. I mean, back then, I think it was like literally you could be shooting multiple days like constantly like you wouldn't know which one you're on i think maybe that was more mighty morphing but you know you'd be up you'd do your your scene you'd move on you'd do the next one and then obviously go into adr so obviously power rangers has been a huge thing o over time now i saw this on a deoxy 360s video and i will make a video on this as well uh ria uh, vanders and uh tula blakey also have worked on the show throughout the years with blakey uh, i hope i'm saying that right starring the up and coming season of uh, as commander short in power rangers cosmic fury now i don't think that's a typo because i generally think that this would be something like you know i could see her being in it because obviously she's communicating like say rangers get back to earth lord zed's here and then the, use that I imagine like this is going to be a thing. So again, we've seen articles that drop this sort of stuff. So we'll talk about this later on in, in another video. It's interesting. Now, adding into this, some members of the industry believe it could be connected to New Zealand's film tax rebate, which currently sits at 20% with an extra 5% if productions meet a certain criteria. Now, I'm guessing that if it's a rebate, it's money back. And maybe it's the fact that, you know, in Canada, but this part here is one thing that i had to quickly just check into i'm not too versed in rebates and how it works but i'm guessing you know you suddenly file the paperwork and then you get money back etc etc so you basically just get a lot of tax money back but it says here some members of the industry believe it could be connected to new zealand's film tax rebate which currently sits at 20 percent with an extra five percent if production meets certain criteria now we don't know what the certain criteria is could be something completely different and it could be something you know you have to have x amount of time here so looking over canada you get 25 percent for qualified labor um so effectively that means that if I'm guessing if Power Rangers had like say a thousand people working on it, then obviously they would get the money back and they would get more because it's the stand, you know, it's a 25%. Now you have to remember on this, the company Hasbro and all that, and most film companies want to spend as little as money as possible, but get as much money back. If you're getting 25%, and again, they could negotiate deals, they could say, hey, we can want more. So effectively, Hasbro see this as well if we can get extra money back well fine we'll, we'll keep it that way we have the president of the screen production and development Irene she says that uh, it's important New Zealand is competitive on the world stage and this is like you know competitive of 20 to 25 percent but the last part of here is like you know that still in communication with Hasbro when it comes to like big movies like they may not want to film in Canada they may, may want to move over back to um, like to New Zealand for certain shots. So I would imagine that Hasbro are still going to be on good terms. They've moved like their big thing out so that they can come back with more films later on if they kind of so wish it and stuff. So it's very kind of interesting when you kind of look at this and be like, oh, hey, what's going on? So, you know, obviously they're not going to be like, see you later, punks, we're out. I feel like this is going to be a thing where they say, hey, we may come back if this doesn't work. And again, I'm, I'm guessing New Zealand will be like, yeah, come across, like, you know, come work with us. Let's have a listen to the video. We're going to play some of it um, so you can see it as well. The popular international TV series Power Rangers is leaving New Zealand after 20 years of production here. The show has brought more than $340 million into the local economy. $340 million. Damn, that's a lot of cheddar right there. 
openly, with members of the film industry calling it a great loss for the cast and crew. Isabel Prasad reports. It's been an international hit series for three decades, but now Power Rangers is go, go, going after 20 years filming here. I find it really sad just because I know what an impact it's had on the industry here. It's devastating, actually. The show was originally filmed in Japan and the US, but came here to reduce production costs. It soon became a pathway for aspiring Kiwi actors and crew. Nothing could prepare me for that sort of schedule and that kind of, um, yeah, that, that style of shooting and it was incredible. It was so exhausting and it was so much fun. As a young actor going out and working on that show, it was like, it's where I learnt everything about how to be a, you know, a film and television actor. It's really, really cool hearing all of that rather than them kind of being like, ah, oh, yeah, it was my fun, fun time on the show. I, I generally really like listening to this sort of stuff because I find it interesting that, you know, they're giving credit to, to Power Rangers and how it kind of either helped with their career, started their career, etc., etc. Good morning, Rangers. Tawila Blakely had a star role as Commander Shaw. Between the crew, between the cast, it's this amazing feeling um, and this amazing bond. And I, I'm gutted to see it leave our shores production-wise. Production company Hasbro hasn't confirmed why it's discontinuing production here. No, I do want to say, because obviously there's probably more to this, so when people kind of turn around and go, oh, no, like uh, Hasbro haven't said anything, again, we, we've debunked that straight away. They just haven't given a reason why they're moving stuff. I just think they just want more money. Uh, they want to spend less money, so they're moving it to a place that is probably a lot easier. easier. But in a statement said it was committed to keeping Power Rangers fresh by reimagining the brand. Some in the industry believe it could be connected to our tax rebate percentage. That's one of the nervous things I think for the moment for our, our producers who work on international is maybe we're just not quite as competitive as we might be in the world at 20-25%. I want us to remain a production destination and you know rebates and things like that really help. Stabs, say goodbye to New Zealand Chase. Yeah. But I'll be back soon. That seems unlikely, with the future of the show still unclear. It's very interesting there as well. We don't know what's happening with the show right now. We don't know what's going on, if Power Rangers is going to continue, if it's just going to go straight into the reboot, and obviously Cosmic Fury is the last one in the show. Like, who knows? Like, what, what could happen? I, I We don't know. Like it's, it's just a very interesting ride right now. And I'm kind of excited and I'm kind of not at the same time because uh, I want Hasbro to at least give us a layout plan rather than just kind of keeping things in the dark. Or maybe the reason why they haven't been able to say anything at the moment is because they don't know what's going on. They're going to take a year to kind of work out and it would be kind of the best thing. I still find this a little bit weird. It's moving away. I feel like I felt it was weird when they left uh, America and then went over to New Zealand. But now where is it going to be filmed? Is it going to be continued over in Canada? Where? I, Canada is the only place I can think it's going to do. If it turned up in England, I'd be very surprised. Like, I don't see it, not unless they were to do something. Hell, they could probably go back over to Ireland, to, to, to Mystic Knights of TNR Nog. Who knows where it's going to be? But at the end of the day, wherever Power Rangers ends up, the reboot will come along as normal until the writer's strike is over. You know, maybe that's what, what they're waiting for. Who knows on this one? So what are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below in the comments. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for listening and watching. And I will catch you in the next video. I want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters. And I wanted to shout out Kimono Cat. Your help does go a long way to support the channel. And if you want to consider helping the channel, then links to my Patreon as well as the channel members are listed below. Ara ara. チャンネルをサポートしてくれてありがとうございますチャンネル登録・高評価お願いします